The following is a presentation of TFNN. Live at TFNN, The Money Masters. Let's go to Shivan in Boston. Shivan, what's happening, brother? I'm watching you both on Tiger TV. That's a beautiful thing. <laughs> yeah, definitely it is. Learning a lot from Tiger. Now, your Money Masters, Tom O'Brien and Steve Rhodes. Welcome, folks. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. Appreciate all you tigers and tigresses growling and prowling out here with us. Hope everyone's having a great day. Safe way as you're on your way to work, folks. Just take your time. Um, Fed day out here today, 2.15. We're going to have more propaganda. It's a beautiful thing. We've got the European propaganda. That, we got the U.S. The propaganda. propaganda. That's the real propaganda. That is, that is, that's, that's, that's the machine. The, that is the real propaganda. There's no doubt about it. There's just absolutely no doubt about it. Right now, we get the Dow folks up by 35. NASDAQ's up four. S&Ps are up uh, two and a half points. And, you know, yesterday uh, it was all about Apple, uh, inside the NASDAQ 100 anyway. Uh, bottom yes. line is that and the NASDAQ 100 was negative. The composite was negative, and Apple was up $15. Exactly. You know, and so with the weighting percentage is what? Is it 14.2. .2. Yeah. So that's pretty heavy. Oh, it's insane. It's insane. Now, this morning, I wish it actually got up higher. It opened at 6.15. Okay. Got to 6.16. Yes. It would have been nice if it could have tagged at 6.19.57. You know, it, it tagged the six fifteen thirty five, which is good. Yes. Um, you have three million. I would have rather tagged the big one. But the bottom line, folks, they're going up to thirty seven million, and it's not even close. Yeah. So the consolidation is still in place, meaning that you know five seventy is game again. Yes. Yes. yes Wild yes. man. MCP. What's MC? Let's go. MCP is halted. Let's see. What is this? What is? What do we got? Molly Corp. I know that. No. Yeah. Molly Corp. Is it Molly Corp? Yeah. Oh, it wasn't halted. That's what that. What happens there is that the um, it's just getting trashed. So what ends up happening is that the they exchange, they hold it for a second. But Molly Club is on a monster ABC down. Holy cow! <laughs> yeah. Now these this the rare earth minerals guys, right? The Molly yeah, Corp rare, rare are, earth, earth minerals that are, that, that are everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm telling you, it's you know the 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 amount of uh, well, hey, when we talk about propaganda, let's go over to Facebook for a second. Oh. Oh, there you go. So there you, go. you get Facebook folks at twenty one bucks. You know, bottom line, it's an ABC structure on the way down to thirteen. Right. And that's only, that's only a one to one. Right, 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 right. <laughs> you know, and what seems to be happening very quickly here is that the the aspect of going from the social network to just a tweet to a, the mobile thing is happening much faster than anyone's realizing, okay. right? Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. That's, what, that's what it seems. That, that's what's going. And they haven't, what's happening, folks, is that in that structure, the ad structure inside the mobile is not, of course, you can't sell it for as much as you could when you're selling it okay. on the okay. computer. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, okay. because it's much smaller. Right? You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, yeah, I guess that's, perceived. That's, that's, that's yeah. the reality. There's no two ways about it, man. Yeah. I, you know, Facebook is a great social network product, for sure. Oh, yeah. You know, it's huge. The monetization of it becomes a whole different story. Right. Certainly and, not to be one of the most valued companies, you know, when you take a look at the products. For the S&P. And that's, yeah. when, when, it went, when, when it went public, folks, okay, bottom line, it was valued higher than 98% of every company in the S&P. Yeah. That, mm -hmm. That's a trip. <laughs> that that that, Wait a minute, that is how smart Zuckerberg is. That's what it really is. He's he's a bright guy. Period. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, well, he, yes, he yeah. took the, sure, he took sure. the twins to the cleaners, yeah. right? He cleaned their clock beyond belief. Okay, they did okay. They did okay. We cleaned their clock. Yeah. there's no doubt about it, man. I mean, I, when I look at that story, he cleaned their clock, and that, and and the, and, the, and the key with. Any of that when you're cleaning, you know, someone's clock, folks. Okay, he cleaned the clock and he had enough money after the fact to make sure it spread around. And, yeah, you know, yeah. that was that was a probability trade that he took. Yes, yes, he did. Pretty wild, man. Let's go to uh, Jordan in Boston. Hey, Jordan, what's going on? Hey, I'm sitting here uh, drinking my bulletproof coffee, ready to go. Uh, that's oh, a baby, that's we a love beautiful it. thing, and I have it every morning, man. It, <laughs> it's isn't it great? Not every morning. You can't, oh, no. be, you can't be awake alert live every morning. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. 
You got to enjoy it very slow. Well, you need to be, you know, alert today because you know you got to be. A, you're on the East Coast, so at about uh, I think it's a uh, ten twenty nine. You can go out and howl at the moon from Boston. You can join yeah, Tom and I. We're going to be doing. There you go. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love it. You wanted to look at the uh, UNG. Yes. Um, what I'm concerned about is that I don't want it to. You know, uh, Larry's been talking about the Bradley Law correction. Uh, you guys have been hinting towards <clears throat> S&P correction. Uh, my question is, is it going to be its own monster, or is it going to follow the market? So is, is natural gas going to follow the market? That's what you're saying. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Well, you know, natural gas looks like it's come off the bottom. I mean... The reality, though, is that, you know, dollar goes up, metric gas can, or the UNG can get back to 1754 in a heartbeat, man. You are, you, are you in the trade? Yes. Okay. So one of the things that it did yesterday was it completed a 1 to 1.272 A to B equals CD up. I'm looking at the natural gas contract, okay? Yeah. So I'm looking at the natural gas contract, not UNG. And you really need to, you know, if you're in that stock, you really should be trading it off of the natural gas contract. So I don't know what UNG did yesterday, but the natural gas contract made a 1 to 1 1.272 A to B equals CD. And when it did it, it did it with a uh, one of uh, Rick's doji candles, Basil's doji candles. And I, I'm kind of, uh, you know, bringing it into my fold here. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I love it. But when you, have a, when you have a candle like that that completes at a uh, pattern high, what you, what you don't want to see today is if you see it close lower, and this morning, you know, natural gas was pushing lower. Right now it's, you know, kind of creating its second uh, doji candle. If it finishes out the day right here, $3.21. Jordan, it's giving you a real big signal to be very careful here and tighten up your stops wherever you're at in that uh, trade. Okay. Great. Thank you very much, guys, for being out here and teaching us. Ah, uh, you bet. Now, hey, listen, do you listen on Tiger TV? Are you watching us? Um, yeah, I'm kind of multitasking. I got, I got it on audio. I got the video. It all depends where I am. Uh, we love it. <laughs> cool, hey. man. We appreciate it, man. <laughs> I, this, is the only, this is the only social network. Have a TFN. great one. Have a safe one. That's right. That's it. Hey, listen, man, you know. This there, is a social there, network. There's, 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 there's no doubt, you know, particularly, folks, what ends up happening in the marketplace. I mean, this is the perfect set up for the marketplace because it's so visual yes you know oh and, it is and and what happens folks is that on, on a visual basis just so you, you understand something too i know you know <laughs> how fast i talked in my delivery and if you're just starting to listen what what you want to do is just trust yourself and go with your eyes and go where the volume is because that is the it, it, there's a very big correlation yeah, yeah, that's, that's the real easy one it that's, is, that's it the is. First place and that's to a really great start. place to start it, it because really it, is, yeah. then you then you realize that oh my god these things go down where the last time volume was yeah and it's like and folks i don't know how it works i just know it works yeah <laughs> well my theory is that that's where supply and demand really is but yes. the fact of the matter is when these things happen to this day i say oh my god this is crazy yeah <laughs> Particularly when well, we're down forty or fifty dollars, and all, all of a sudden the first stop is right there. Yeah, it's like, and I, oftentimes I'll speak with the, you know with our listeners, and uh, uh, you know, and one of the questions I get, one of the mo questions I get most often is, how do you pull up a chart that somebody asks you about that you haven't even taken a look at, right? And within you know about fifteen twenty seconds, you visually can say, okay, here's where it's going. I know. And and most of the time it ends up going down right. there. Right. You know, and right. and and first of all, it's you know about doing the same it's about doing five things ten thousand times. Yeah. Versus right. ten thousand things. That's right. You know, five right. times. But uh, it, it is if you just simply take a look at the uh, volume bars on there, you know, if you're in a stock and it, it continues to move higher, you want to continue to see, you know, volume come in on this thing. You don't want to see volume down at the low and this thing to, and, and whatever equity you're into have gone up. On, uh, on nothing but air. Oh, exactly. And I love, you know, I, lo I really do love uh, utilizing the leading type indicator patterns. You know, volume and swing points, it's a leading indicator because right. you know ahead of time as the stock's moving up or down into it what to look for. So you've got that benchmark. In fact, benchmarking volume uh, is a. Uh, for, for the folks that have bought Tiger Dollars, that's, that's the deal tonight. Oh, baby. We're going to be benchmarking volume. And, and it really is the first place to start. What a perfect. Time to do it. Oh, that's, that's sure you can do that's right. right. Yeah, because it's, <laughs> it couldn't be a better time to do it, man. It's like you got to be kidding me. Yeah. And hey, I, you know, I, on Tiger TV, folks, I got Coach up right now, right? Yes. Yeah. And this is it's just a mind blower. Okay, so you look at Coach, August 11th. Now, this is a heads up for the market in general, too, folks. Okay. See, August of 2011, when we came down, we came down monster volume. Yeah. Okay. We go all the way back up. 
had lighter volume. Now, if you put together the aspect of the volume, and then you put together, and this is inside the toolbox, right? What do you do? You turn around and say, okay, what did the channel line do? <laughs> this is a total mind blower. We get our man, Mr. Bud Ross, the channel king. He is. Right? Thank goodness for Bud. And, and what does it do? So it breaks the channel that started in September of 2010. This is Coach now, folks. 35 bucks, right? It goes all the way up to 66 and then crashes, okay? Down to 45. Well, it's not a crash. Yeah. Well, 66 to 45. 25. But, but, 25 percent. Yeah. Right? yeah. 20 percent. So with volume. With volume. <laughs> with volume. So it has heavy volume down the down the lows. Now watch, folks. It goes at the top of the channel with 12 million shares. Oh, really? So 12 million people versus 31. Pure distribution. And then what ends up happening now? You talk about a. Uh, well, yesterday you had markdown. <clears throat> 30, you, just, 30, you just simply had a markdown phase in one single yeah. day. Boom. 30% in three months. And now you got an ABC structure down. You're going for that 45. And, hey, bottom line is that if it has juice, it continues to have juice like this at 45. It's toasted, yeah. roasted, all of the above. Yes, absolutely. Here comes Apple, too. They sucked everyone in an Apple. Yes. Uh, you can learn uh, a lot in Apple, too. Uh, you know what? Uh, I, I spoke with a, uh, with a uh, number of clients who have some of their funds are just simply being managed by, you know, folks like Wells Fargo Asset Management, yes. you know, just have some of their big funds out there. And they said, Steve, uh, you know, a couple of days ago, well, it, was, it was when uh, during Apple's release, okay, of earnings. And they say, uh, my uh, broker, because they get the statements right. you know, with regard to any new transactions inside their accounts. Right. They, they went out of the XLK and went into Apple. Really? Yeah. And I was like, oh, man, I do, you know. And they, uh, so, that, that, so I know who was buying. What? You know, I know that. Yes, that, that was your retirement funds that were out there right. buying, buying that uh, initial uh, decline out there, folks. Right. And unfortunately, what's going to happen when folks get their statement for last month? Yeah. Is see the indices, folks. Well, if you look at the S and P, right, it, that doesn't look that bad. I mean, I, I mean, I think it's going to go down, but I'm saying it's at thirteen eighty one. Yeah. So if you take thirteen eighty one back, it's like, hey, you know, that's not bad. You know, we're trading to 1381, you know, whether it's no, no, right now, last, it doesn't March, look that bad. That's right. That that's bad. right. That's right. Absolutely. But what, what you're going to see happen is this, is that the amount of equities that many of these funds do own yes. are crushed. Yes. Yes. So the statements are going to be crushed. Yes. People are going to say, what, yeah, what, that, I don't understand this. Yeah. And I've seen this happen on the way up and I've seen it happen on the way down. You know, in 2000, even at the peak, I remember so many people saying, I don't understand it. You know, the market's up that much, and I'm not up that. And it's because, folks, because it was a market of very small stocks. And you always can get that by the trend. And that's yes. what we, the same thing here. You have a couple stocks that are holding up, and the rest of the market was crushed. Yeah. Right. Well, the S and P 500. I have to go do. I have to go do a study. But when you take a look at the the number of stocks you need to represent, like about thirty percent right. of the actual index itself, it's not that much. I mean, it's not. It's not. Yeah, it's not, no, a huge, it's, not, even it's not a huge number. Not even close. Not even close. Yeah. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien, all you tigers and tigresses, you stay right there, folks. We have the Fed that announced some kind of two fifteen, and bottom line is that uh, it looks to me like it's already come out. And you know what, folks? They're gonna hold pat. Rates are gonna stay low. Maybe they'll take the reserve back, but that's it. Everyone that uh, wants the printing of money, well, guess what? It's not going to happen. Salter's exciting newsletter, Low Price Leaders, has just launched, and now is a great time to get a two-week free trial. Every Wednesday afternoon, Kate sends out her weekly newsletter to her subscribers where she focuses on small-cap stocks with market caps under $2 billion, as well as low-priced equities with share prices ranging from $5 to $12. Kate tracks a variety of stocks with a combination of strong technical support and solid fundamentals. Many of the stocks featured will be recent IPOs. These newer issues are often some of the biggest price gainers in the market and provide an excellent opportunity for substantial gains if timed correctly. You can catch Kate Stalter live on Tiger TV with her small cap roundup every Tuesday and Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time and visit TFNN.com right now to get your two-week free trial to her brand new newsletter, Low Priced Leaders, while locking in the low introductory monthly rate of only $37.50 per month, almost a 50% discount. Act now.
with the launch of Tiger TV. TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Ken Shreve, Kate Stalter, David White, Larry Pesamento, Victor Jones, or Daryl Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investments, and whether you're bullish or bearish on Chinese stocks, the ETFs from Direction Shares are there to help you magnify your perspective. Bull ETFs for a rising market and bear ETFs for a falling market. Direction Shares gives you the tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows. Plus, see all the charts as they happen live during those shows and have access to archives of those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Millionaires are made every day. The fact is, living your dreams is possible. Someone, somewhere is going to get rich. My recommendation is, let that be you. Each day, someone is making the decision to better themselves and creating a plan to fulfill their financial dreams. Let that be you. The key to turning dreams into reality is to take massive action. Let that be you. I'm Steve Rhodes, co-host of The Money Master Show with Tom O'Brien, seen daily at TFNN. And I can help you with your journey to great wealth. I'll show you how to create the ultimate financial edge, a set of tools, insights, and strategies that are part of my daily newsletter service, Mastering Probability. You'll have direct access to me by phone, email, and my private library of trading and investing secrets for 30 days with an unconditional money-back guarantee. I'll take your trading to the next level. Click on my name, Steve Rhodes, on the homepage of TFNN.com and turn your dreams into reality. Mastering Probability, folks. Let that be you. This segment is brought to you by Goldfields. For more information, just click the Goldfields banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. Appreciate you growling and prowling out here with us right now. You have the Dow up 17. NASDAQ is flat. S&Ps are up one. And, of course, it's all about Apple. And Apple's flat. Uh, we'll see whether... Uh, uh, you you get a uh, large sell in there. Uh, it's just it went to a higher high, has the light of all, and now we'll see whether someone wants to unload on that baby or not. Yeah, well, you'd say it's about Apple. You could also say it's about the DAX. Oh, say it's about the DAX definitely. In, uh, Let's in, talk in about Germany, the DAX, huh? man. Now, absolutely, man. You know, um, so we had the failure. Yes. And I was still hanging up at these highs. It, it did have. Let me let me pull the volume up from yesterday and see what we have here. Good. So uh, you had you going you were going into 151 million. Oh, and you did 185. Oh, interesting. Okay. Okay, you got 151 and 180. Oh, that's good. That's oh man. Okay, so this is this this better stay under the 6770. Hey, what do you got? What do you have for his volume on uh, May second? Oh, that yeah, that's uh, that's, so that's huge. What's, what's, yeah. what's, 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 no, that, that's uh, that's 182. That's also 180. and that's what it's got 159. That's what it's going into. Yeah. There, there's no doubt about that. Yeah. There's no doubt about that. What 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 happens, folks, is this. Is that, so when you take every swing point, the 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 swing the first swing point I took was from the 19th, and what I like to see is that it's under all of them. I mean, right, that, that's right, the reality. For sure. no, but for it, sure, it's going sure. into a much heavier one, you know, but we'll see how that sh shakes out. You know, it was interesting. I was reading. So when you look at the whole aspect of um, the European Union, yes. right? So this is what has to happen, folks, okay, in order to, you know, them to get together as a union. 
Um, and it was interesting. I, I was reading this whole history last night. This has to do with Germany. Yes. You know, Hitler first. And they, they had to give up huge amounts of sovereignty, period. Yes. Okay? Yes. And what had happened, now th this is where this gets really... Um, I wouldn't expect what actually happened here, but then I remember Charles de Gaulle. So what happened is that Charles de Gaulle, of course, is the one that came back into Paris, you know, and took over, right? right? right. You know, saved basically Paris, okay, save France, okay? So what had happened is that even though France is a socialist country, they still have very strong laws on their books between state and the government and sovereignty. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, as the the European Union is trying to get together, when they put the euro in place, what ended up happening? The reason that France went along with it is that because France knew that the German bank was the most powerful bank. Okay. Period. Okay. And they knew that this would be a way that that would lessen. Okay. Okay. German power inside their bank. Yes. Okay. So inside now, the European Union. Yep. Inside, yep, yep. So now watch what's happening, folks. So now what's going on is this. So now, as Merkel is turning around saying that we want we we want to get together the European powers just as like in the United States, picture it the exact same way. France is the one. Now, and it's actually going to be Holland versus Sarkozy. Sarkozy was going for it, right? Okay. Holland, even though he's a socialist, will yeah. not go for it. Yeah. That's going to be that. That's going to be the. That's going to be the downfall. That isn't it wild. And it, what, what I don't quite understand is this: is that the and oh, this may have to do with it. They just so this morning what, what France did is France put in the transaction tax this morning. Okay. I mean, it's they'll listen, folks. Anything that's moving France is going to tax. So there, it seems to me that there's a disconnect between. <laughs> How they run the country versus their sovereignty, except that when I, when I really start thinking about it, I say, okay, they, got, they want to make sure that that's how it's going to be run, period. Yeah. But that's going to be the, that's going to be the huge challenge. Okay. And if you remember, depending on how long you've been around, folks, it was Charles de Gaulle, okay, who, when the gold standard was in place, it was Charles de Gaulle and was France that was continuing to take the gold out of Fort Knox. That's that's why Richard Nixon had to come on, you know. Okay, Richard Nixon okay, had to come okay, on okay. and say, "No, that's it." He came on that night. I remember it so well because see the way it worked before with international currencies, right? Is that so? Picture you get all the currencies. If we had dollars and we went over to France, we spent the dollars, right? Right, right, right. The, right. the, the only the treasuries of the countries could send the money back and say, "I want gold." Well, Charles de Gaulle, he was no fool. He kept sending the the dollars back, saying, "Give me your gold." And it was like, <laughs> then Nixon tries to say, "Nope, we're closing the gold window." Yeah, but yeah, that's yeah, how yeah, smart yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. He, you know, that was that was a smart move, man. I was looking; it was blowing my mind. I was saying to myself, you know, even when it was happening that they were crucifying de Gaulle over here, I'm saying to myself, "That's a smart guy." I mean, why? That's right. That's well, right. Yeah, why yeah. wouldn't here, you? you can, can, take and, your take your paper. And I didn't even take understand. Paper, the, I didn't understand. All the different correlations, but that was a simple one. Like, oh, I want paper, I want gold. Oh, really? And, that, and folks, by the way, that's at $35. That's right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien, all you Tigers and Tigresses, you stay right there, folks. We're going to be coming right back. Dow's up 17, NASDAQ flat, S&P's are up a uh, buck. Would you like a personal update from Tom O'Brien as to what equities he's trading and what his daily trading plan is before the market opens each morning? Every market day, Tom O'Brien sends out his daily newsletter, Market Insights, to hundreds of subscribers that rely on his daily recommendations when it comes to navigating these highly volatile markets we're dealing with. As recently as May 21st, Market Insights subscribers closed out all five open positions for a combined profit of over 68% in one day. Profits ranged from 6.5% to over 24%, and all of these trades had been initiated within the previous 30 days. Now is the perfect time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's explosive trading newsletter, Market Insights, an $85 value. Tom breaks down the market each morning with his market take and provides trade recommendations, including precise stops and target profit zones, leaving nothing left to guessing. Log on to TFNN.com today and sign up for your two-week free trial. Make sure you're a subscriber the next time Market Insights subscribers close out multiple winning trades. Take action and sign up for your free trial today. 
If you're an investor looking for a great weekly investment newsletter, then now is the perfect time to try out Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks. Every Tuesday, Ken breaks down multiple sectors in his weekly newsletter, Ultimate Growth Stocks, with a full in-depth report including specific trading recommendations within his model portfolio, charts, sector analysis, upcoming economic data, along with intra-week trading updates on newsletter positions whenever the market dictates. Right now, you can receive a full month, that's 30 days, to evaluate Ken's newsletter free of charge to see if it fits your trading plan. At less than $75 per month, Ken provides you with his expert trading advice that can pay for itself in no time. Take advantage of this great offer by signing up for a 30-day free trial to Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks today. Don't let this offer pass you by. Visit the front page of TFNN.com and sign up now. What type of investor are you? Conservative, moderate, or aggressive? No matter your investor personality, your overall portfolio should reflect your financial goals, time horizon, and your risk tolerance. Help ensure your portfolio is appropriately invested with an asset allocation plan for Morgan Stanley Smith Barney. Simply picking the right stocks is not enough. Research has shown that choosing the right proportion of stocks, bonds, and cash is essential to the success of your long-term investments. Morgan Stanley Smith Barney believes that a carefully selected portfolio can lower volatility and increase investment return potential. Find out about what asset allocation location and the Morgan Stanley Smith Barney financial advisor can do for you. Call Angela O'Brien, first vice president and certified financial planner of the Clearwater, Florida branch at 727-441-6108 today to discuss your personal financial needs. Asset allocation does not assure a profit or protect against loss in declining financial markets. Investments and services are offered through Morgan Stanley Smith Barney, LLC, member SIPC. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. This segment is brought to you by Crocodile Gold. For more information, just click the Crocodile Gold banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Steve Roach, Tom O'Brien. Appreciate you growling and prowling out here with us. So we get the uh, Fed at 215. We already got, I mean, the jobs rates, you know, the jobs numbers come in this morning big. I mean, the ADP, ADP report, report come in big. Over 60, 67,000 more than they figured. You okay. Know. So that pushed the market up just a bit. Well, uh, well, I, <laughs> this is where it gets just a bit. To, it, it, it pushed it up a bit. But, but they were off last time. I think ADP but, had some big numbers last time, and it didn't pan out in the uh, final report. That's right. The most they've ever been off is 57,000. Okay. You know, uh, what you have, though, is that that report, the Fed already has. Yes. Okay. Oh, yes, absolutely. Yeah. So, you know, the reality is looking at saying, okay, you know, you have housing going up. You've sold more cars than we've ever sold. Okay. You have jobs that are happening. Get market near the highs. You get market near the highs. Oh, we're enough. really going to put more money in it? Yeah. I, you know? I, I really think the, the bigger issue becomes what is it that they're going to do over in, in Europe? Because from the standpoint, as we talked about, if if they decided to somehow they got together, they could turn on the printing presses. Oh, they're going to do that. Okay. I, I, my take is they're going to do that. Just and, which which I, I think has got to be one of the reasons why Timmy, you know, flew over there. Yeah. Because they absolutely listen to TFNN. They yeah. know they know Ting the dollar. They know the correlation between Ting, the strong dollar. Ting dollar. Yeah. And so you know the U.S. markets will absolutely have conniptions. Right. If Europe is if we don't do anything and Europe is allowed to print. Right. Because the euro will get weaker, the U.S. dollar will get uh, stronger, and, you know, that correlation isn't going to change overnight. Now, with think, regard to our, think with of the something, though. You, you know what's really so cool? So trying to figure out some other program out there. I don't know what it is. Well, what's cool about this, folks, is this. 
is that first off, you know, we know we always want to protect it in your portfolio. So you got to you got to protect yourself. We preach it all the time, but you got to protect yourself, okay? Because see, there's a disconnect in the aspect of where some of these equities want to go versus where our economy wants to go. Right. Versus, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Versus exactly how much money you'll have in your pocket. But yeah, but part of that part of that was the you know with, with is is result of you had these equities move higher, okay, and some of it has been in my, in my when I take a look at things, if you just simply go back and you take a look at what you could buy with gold, because right. you used to do this all the time. Oh yeah, totally. You know totally. what you could buy with gold before there was any types of quantitative easing. Right. Uh, you know, compared to where prices are now, a lot of it has just been nothing more than a uh, shell game. Prices, oh, yeah. Price, it's always know. a shell game. Yeah, but it, totally. Uh, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, where, where the markets want to go is, is a whole different, you know. Well, that, this is cool. Okay, so uh, we we got to go on this conversation. Because, folks, this is... Now, I, can, I get flack about this sometimes, okay? But if you understand the foundation that we're dealing with, which which is a foundation that has cracks in it and basically is corrupt, okay? It's a lot easier to understand in the marketplace. Yes. And it's sad, but that's what you're in. You know, and that's what they've always been in. You can go back in history. I don't, go no, back to Jesse Livermore. No, no. Go back to Kennedy. Think about this. Joseph Kennedy, right? <laughs> Give me a break. He was, he was the, the biggest rum runner, right? <laughs> Manipulator of stocks. He ends up being the first commissioner of the SEC. Yes, exactly. Oh, really? Exactly. Oh, oh, geez, what a Rolodex that is. <laughs> <laughs> so things don't change, folks. But what, it, what happens is if you understand how they lay out, well, bottom line is that you, you, you work your way right into them, you know? Yes. And, and liquidity events are, are difficult to understand and gauge just where, where you're going to find an equilibrium of prices. So when you have major liquidity come into a market, it, you know, it becomes difficult to understand where, where that high water benchmark is going to you know, hit. No doubt. And, and you no, know, it no, becomes no, a little bit difficult. There's no doubt about it. You know, and, and, and that's, well, and, and what you do there is that that's where you have to absolutely put four, five, six, seven markets together. Yes. Because that yeah. makes a difference. For sure. You know what I mean? No. And then take a shot at it. That, that's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I, I, I think the bigger event. Either that or you just take your cash and hold it and don't play, which is, which is, Sure. You can do that, too. Well, or then you, no one or, can steal your cash. Or, or you listen to a lot of uh, smart uh, minds out there. Uh, you know, we can take a look at, uh, uh, no, I use, you know, Buffett and Trump and you know, some other, a bunch of other folks out there. You get a lot of the, a lot of the folks are not saying, hey, yeah, jump in the markets. You know, they're saying buy real cheap assets. Right. You know, buy real cheap tangible assets. And right. That becomes the whole real estate play. No, you know, I, I, there's listen. out there that people haven't necessarily bought into. No, they but haven't. Yet, but yet, you know, you you continue to hear on a daily basis, you know, uh, that that is the so so yeah, you get you can go cash, you can stay in the markets bonds. You know, we know about the bond bubble. That's right. eventually going to burst. Right. We just don't know if it's going to happen now or if it's going to happen when Larry's on your boat. Oh, 10 years from now. Yeah. 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 Exactly. If you, if, you go, if, you go to, if you go to Japan, folks, it's been That's going true. on That's for uh, 88, 98. What year are we in? It's been going yeah. on for 14 years. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, you know, listen, that... Well, what we do know is that if the, uh, when it comes to a currency battle, and it really is a currency war, in essence, that, that is out there, if the uh, U.S. doesn't print currency, and Europe does, and the euro gets uh, weaker, right. and the longer-term charts say the euro is going to get weaker right. you know, against the U.S. dollar, we know the U.S. dollar is off the bottom. Until the correlation changes, the markets will pull back. You know what's going to be cool, man? Just think about the nice Italian suits we can buy for cheap oh, I money. I like that. I like that, real, that's for sure. Real Italian suits, like folks. That. And let me tell you, you know, you know what's amazing? The, the, the workmanship... In Italy, yeah, is absolutely one of the best. And and, and I go right from not only the clothes, folks. If you have a like when I was in the restaurant business, yeah, I remember the the machines that they could make. Yeah, right. I mean, were extraordinary. It was just absolutely extraordinary, man. Uh, and that hasn't changed. Now, what would happen there? Of course, that would pump up their economy, the export economy, in a huge way. Look, I love it. You know, my you know, I uh, every now and then I start wearing some dress shirts or what have you. Right. But my favorite dress shirts, folks, are Canelli. Okay. Yeah, right. And you know, I wore one wore one yesterday. Okay. And the it would, would always you know now you know those shoots sell for like two hundred fifty bucks, or right? What have you. Right. 
And what always amazes me when that I takes about three when or four I, minutes when I, I yeah when what always amazes me is that when I put that on against some other shirt that I bought right. you know even like this one here you right. know so it's half that price okay right. in the U S the difference in quality in cotton is. is so so different right and, you know and the, and the and the way that they they wear or what have you so you know the the products yeah I, you know come on back. Like, no, come on back to park. I know. Come oh, to, come big back time. To park. Big, <laughs> no, no, no doubt about it, man. There's no uh, doubt about it, man. It's a beautiful uh, thing. Absolutely. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Let's go over and take a look at that gold contract. They're hitting gold out here, which totally makes sense because what we were talking about yesterday, it was getting to the top of the range. That's right. It That's couldn't. Right. Uh, let me see. Look at that. You got oh. Bloomberg. It's a beautiful thing. Where Where is he? Here we go. I get him here. Um, couldn't handle. Um, Let's see. No, I got to go GCZ2. Okay. Couldn't handle the, the highs out here. Oh, this is a beautiful thing. Oh, baby. Okay. <laughs> this is what you got, folks. 87,000 contracts. That's nothing. It's not even close, man. Yeah. It's going to need a lot more than that. Now, I, you know, you're at 1601. It can go to about 15 to 82, but you're now you're just pulling back with lighter volume. And, and really getting to be a very tight, uh, narrow trading range here. But that 200-day exponential moving average... Hold it in its place. You know, oh, right it's now, on the other side. You know, oh, and, cool. and, and, I, you know so it got up there for three okay. trading sessions, and you know, and, and that was as high as it could get to, and now it's back down to the uh, top of its uh, descending tops line that's just been out here. Now, day. folks, what's really going to be uh, important, uh, if you're driving in your car, we're looking at a huge triangle that Steve has, and it broke out, but it broke out of the triangle early. That's right. So what happens is that, let me see, is that a daily? That's a daily. So yeah, we so get, a, we get about another daily. week and a half or two weeks. Yeah. Uh, because what will end up happening is that then it will be at the very end. And as long as it doesn't go back inside that, if it goes back inside it, it's going to break the other end. Yeah. If well, it doesn't go back inside it, get ready, baby. Okay. So now you now you pull silver up. Okay. Now silver using that same triangle uh, okay. wedge that was out there broke yeah. out. And yesterday when we were on there, it looked like silver was trying to make a break okay. of that uh, 50 day uh, a moving average and just simply gave it up. You know, after the show, uh, uh, I was looking at it for my for my clients because I was taking a look at possible trades yeah, out there. Yeah, right. And actually, what I wrote in the newsletter was, uh, you know, very early this morning they got before silver tanked. I said, yes. actually, silver is a better short trade right now. And then all of a sudden, you know, it was down 70 cents. You mean long that. trade, right? Well, no, I, I, this, I morning, oh, this I morning I said it was a better short trade. I didn't want to take a short I trade, see. but I said it was uh -oh. a better, you know, the, okay. the, it, it closed back below that 50-day. I see, like, okay. okay. Time to head down. Now, volume it doesn't have the volume today, contract-wise. No, which is good. Yeah. And that's, a, that's what you're looking for, folks. Yeah. What happens in these last trash trashions, folks, um, particularly because we've gone so far on a consolidated basis and down, you have to expect very fast moves. And the best moves I've seen when the opposite's going to take place yeah. is fast price destruction with no volume. Yes. yes. When that happens, folks, that's the last push down. And what that's all about is that that's a large fund pushing, pushing, pushing to see if there's any more orders down there. Yeah, if there's yeah, no yeah. more orders, then boom, let's go. We're going to town, baby. <laughs> Up and at them. <laughs> Up and at them, baby. Let's go take a look at some of the uh, high-volume stocks in a low-volume market out here. You get Ford down uh, three cents, big deal. Facebook is done. Facebook. So you're not going to buy it at 13 bucks? Um, I don't. Well, we'll see. I don't think so. Though. Okay. That's right. I don't think so. Um, arch cold, you know, that, that, that cold come off the bottom. That's up yeah. seven cents right now. That, okay. Now that's going to get interesting watching. Zinger is dead. Uh, what else we got? Verizon. Look at these phone companies. They finally figured out how to make money. Now. Boy, and, and that pays a nice dividend too. Six percent. You know, five. Is a, it five point seven percent or something? Yeah. Let's see. Oh, four point three now because it got so high. Okay. You know, I, I get, I get, I have to, I have to get all my certificates together, man. They, these are getting the prices now. I got to see what I have. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Oh man, I'm telling you. The my mother folks had worked for for Ma Bell, AT and T. So I have all these certificates, and I made sure that I got them. Well, I had them as certificates, and I never cashed them in. Yeah. So that's a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now yes, they get yes, up the yes, prices. Yes. It'd be nice to know what I have. <laughs> I was thinking, I just putting them all in. in uh, 
frames and put, bring them in here. Yeah. Because okay. I got original okay. AT and T certificates. Yeah. This goes oh, back that's, to that's, 1953. That's cool. Oh, that's cool. Isn't that crazy? I know. And then what happens, folks? Yeah, is how that many stock splits have uh, happened since then? Well, then they had, you had the then full. Then reinvested. You had the full stock of six. What I don't know. This is what I don't know. This is terrible, folks. What I don't know is this: is that there was always a dividend reinvestment right. deal. Right. Exactly. But what yeah. I don't know is that I haven't paid attention to them since you passed away, which is 12 years ago, right? Yeah. So I don't know if that was in there or not. Yeah. It's not the end of the world. It's, it's, well, usually you get those dividend reinvestment statements. I yeah. Well, they, they they've lost track of me. I still. Uh, I get, okay, I get, okay. My sister told my me. Get my, every, my, every, my sister uh, told me that they got my name in the paper. That you got all these certificates. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, they they to, did. She called. She uh, called me six months ago, and I just haven't got it yet. Because uh, they, they can't funny. take it because I have the actual certificates. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Right. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Some of the uh, large caps out here, folks. We have uh, Big Blue is down, uh, it's up 50 cents. You got uh, Mob, uh, Marbell's up six. You got Exxon Mobil up 44. Uh, Hewitt Packard, he, he, that's a yeah, tough down shape. Down another too. 17 cents, huh? So it's going to be amazing. You know, both Hewitt and Packard, those guys must be turning over in their grave. I mean, well, seriously. their whole business certainly has changed. It has. And they just didn't, you know, rock with it, man. Yeah. I mean, it's like, you know, they, they got to move quick because uh, HBQ, I mean, that, that stock, oh, it's just, yeah, man, that's like, it's a, it's at 18 bucks. So I believe it's already hit, folks, the 2008 lows. And this is a heads up just in general, too. Yeah, it's already, it already broke them. So, the, you, you know, people that were in it in 2008, they thought that was bad, okay? Went down to $25. You're at $18 right now. We bring this back and put it on a monthly. And on a monthly... Yeah, You're going up to the 2002 lows. Hey, you know what Bill Gross came out with today? Check this out, folks. This is pretty intense. Now, Bill Gross, he's the Bond King. but he, Well, he, he, he was a Bond. He got a little knocked off the throne just a little bit here. Yeah, but, yeah. But he's back up. He is. Yeah. He is. Uh, he came out. Uh, let me see if I can find it. His, his quote. His quote's pretty intense this morning. Let me see if I pull up Bonds. What his quote is, is that the, the stock market is uh, the equity stock market. <laughs> is no way going to get um, the returns that it's got the last 20 years and that it's almost like a Ponzi scheme. No, that, well, he used that word. He used did he that, really? He okay. used that word. Okay, and okay. It, it, my, the, my initial take on that was, folks, what it would have to do with is that, you know, Facebook going out, taking everyone's money, Zynga taking everyone's money, yeah, yeah. Uh, Groupon taking everyone's money. And that's the banking structure taking everyone's money. I, I didn't get to read the whole thing, but we are going to find it before we get off the air. So uh, let me see. You, uh, you. Oh, it's insane. <laughs> <laughs> it, you, know, well, you know why it's particularly insane, folks? Because PIMCO, two years ago, turned around and start pushing stocks. Yes. yes. And, and they got... Yes, uh, they uh, the the guy that was in charge of the uh, the top money, uh, Kakarjian, uh, okay. he's in charge of the equity portion of okay. it. Okay, so yeah. yeah, I mean they're they're into equities in a big way now. So I, we gotta find this man. I'm gonna I'm gonna find this before we get off the air because okay. that that's he must have did a lot of yoga this morning to come up with that truth. <laughs> let's uh, see what do we got going on here. So. Uh, in the uh, IBD 50, let's see, got uh, price cow. lines off eight bucks, Mastercards off uh, four. Let's see what is uh, popping on the upside here. Not really much. That looks Perigo. pretty intense, man. Not not really much uh, dollar wise popping to the upside. More popping to the uh, downside here on the IBD stocks. So Mastercard came out with their numbers this morning. Yeah. Now their numbers look pretty good. So yeah. it must have been their guidance that was up. right because they they you know I don't know what the uh, street was calling for, but. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm with you. Net, net income looked pretty good, and sales looked pretty good. What a business that Revenge. is, right? Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien, all you tigers and tigresses. Uh, you, don't forget, folks, uh, you know, uh, we go live 9 in the morning, 6 at night, um, every trading day. Basil Chapman's going to be coming up next, and Larry, Daryl Mott, David White, Ken Shreve, myself. We're going to be right back.
Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's new trading newsletter, Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the forex market, and more. And you'll get the technical corner segment, which is a short but powerful weekly training session on trading. You'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you just the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two weeks. Go to TFNN.com and click on the free trial link at the top of the page. That's an $85 value, yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind and get the edge you've been looking for. In just December of last year, the price of gold was down over 10%. In today's highly volatile gold market, you need someone in your corner that understands the complex relationships that exist within the price of gold, as well as within a variety of gold equities. Whether it's the South African gold miners and knowing how the RAND dollar relationship will affect their bottom line, or understanding how John Paulson's $5 billion trade in the GLD can move the market, Tom O'Brien gives you the direction you need to become a better trader each week in his newsletter, The Gold Report. With over 20 individual equities covered and almost another 20 on the potential watch list each week, in addition to covering the XAU, HUI, GLD, and Dollar, The Gold Report is a great source for any trader that is looking to be diversified in today's volatile gold market. For your 30-day free trial to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report, log on to TFNN.com today. Don't miss out on this great offer. Act now. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Time is the great equalizer of all mankind. Time doesn't care about winners or losers, who succeeds or fails. Time only cares that you played the game. Question, are you playing the money game? Is your money working as hard for you as you are for it? I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, a daily trading and investment newsletter service, and we're celebrating our one-year anniversary. In year one, we generated a 30% profit. Plus, I provided 26 hours of live coaching to my clients. My daily newsletter service is available by 8 a.m. each day and covers the stock, futures, currency, and commodity markets, along with all the current patterns that you can trade. Each newsletter is packed with education, and it's yours for as little as $3 per day. And for the next 30 days, you can try it risk-free. Click on my name, Steve Rhodes, on the homepage of TFNN.com and begin your journey to great wealth today. If you're waiting for a better tomorrow, remember this. Today's tomorrow will soon be yesterday, and your clock is ticking. Mastering probability. Now is your time. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Uh, so we got the uh, the article. The article actually uh, about Bill Gross, folks, is in the Wall Street Journal, uh, and the headline is "We're witnessing the death of equities." Um, and what do you, this is this is this is this is this is not trading, folks. This is it, 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 this is he's almost doing a sacrilege. Well, he's definitely doing a sacrilege. He's saying that the buy and hold is dead. Uh, yes, yes, and, yes. You yes. know, and, and the reason his his theory goes like this: that since 1912, um, the um, Average gain is 6.6%, uh, in inflation adjusted. Um, the average um, growth since then was 3.5%. Bottom line, what he's saying is that, listen, we're only growing at 1.5% of GDP, and 
The rates have never been this low, so therefore, corporate profits have every reason to be high. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. he's making the argument that, well, okay, well, listen, what else is going to change that? So he just doesn't see 6% coming in. Um, so it's the bottom line is that... Not learn, unless you can keep replicating Apple. Learn how to trade. No, that's... Hey, <laughs> got down all around. What difference does it make? Do you know what I mean? Well, I mean, replicate their, their you know, their, oh, their, yeah. their business model. No, no, no doubt. Ain't going to be Facebook. It's not going to be Facebook. I don't think so. No doubt. Let's go to uh, Robert in Colorado. Hey, Robert, what's going on? Good morning, guys. How you doing, man? Pretty good, pretty good. Good. I'm looking for an entry in uh, Harmony Gold. I Right here I, is great. You're at 970. Right here? You got it. Okay, I missed it at eight at eight eight ninety five, and it took off on me. Oh. oh. Well, now you get it at 970. Okay, thank you so much, guys. Okay, man, have a great one. Have a safe okay. one. Harmony Gold, folks, is a large South African gold company. Uh, had already taken off from the bottom of that 875, got up to uh, 1018. It's rejected the lows out here today, and that's going to be all about the Rand dollar. That's what that's the name of the game. Rand dollar is at 820. It's going up to 880. Get action, you know, so action, Jackson. Action, baby. We're going to have action this afternoon. How about the ETFs? What do we got going on in the ETF structures out here? Any, uh, well, what's the spy? What's the uh, Spy look like I guess on Let's the uh, take ten a look. Chart, so we uh, get we get the spy. Oh, I don't like what that looks like actually. The spy looks like so we're at one thirty eight fifty five and it's gonna well it's the, oh well actually the ten minute looks dynamite. The ten minute what it's doing is this. It's testing the one thirty eight forty six and it's at fifty five from twelve uh, thirteen thirty on the twenty seventh. So that's good. So that's a ten minute chart. So so this is what you have. We Last 10 minutes, we only did 2 million shares, and it's going into a test with 13 million. So it's going to need extraordinary <laughs> amount of volume, extraordinary amount of juice, and it just doesn't have it. We go over to the three Qs. We take a look at the three Qs. Let's see what she has there. Come on, baby. One, two, three. Okay, so the three Qs are doing the same thing. The three Qs are at, uh, that's going into the test of 3.8 million. Last 10 minute, we did 500,000. That's good. Yeah. Same thing. IWM, which is the weakest out there, continues to be the weakest. <laughs> that's, that's dead meat. Small caps, that's why they call them the small caps. <laughs> they got to be midgets before the end of the day. <laughs> Uh, so, 215. Yeah, market just can, you know, expect it to just kind of, you know, meander, get, go get, sideways. Get down until 215, yes. no doubt about it. And then, and then you got to wait till tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. No, well, no, no, King Dollar. King Dollar. No, King Dollar oh, is going okay. to be the number. Okay. So, King Dollar, there we go. So, okay. rejecting the lows on lighter King Dollar is rejecting the lows. 8,000 8, contracts versus 40,000 contracts. That's a beautiful, 35 to be exact. Oh, that's a beautiful thing. We rejected it yesterday, rejecting it today. Real action, man. Long live the king. Long live the king. That's going to drive big corporations out of their minds. And, you know, politically, folks, they're going to have a hard time, you know, basically organizing their story. Yes. You know? Yes. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien, all you tigers and tigresses, you stay right there. We're going up to Newton, Massachusetts with Basil. Uh, Tucson, Arizona, Larry, Dallas, Texas with uh, Daryl back here in the Tampa. Out to California, Ken Shreve, and then back here. I love it. Wow. Take care, folks. Have a great day.